All right, guys, let's go ahead and do this. So there was already another video that was released um, that had that went over uh, number 2-6 and 2-8. So I won't go over that again. It's, it's, uh, you can go ahead and check it out. But I'm going to go over the, the last one, which is a, it's a newly addition. So this is number 3 here, and that's strictly over the domain range. Right, so the domain of the this uh, letter A, the domain, and if you look at graph, the domain is just how far left can we go. So uh, domain is just an X value. So I will just start with, with the you know, X in the middle, right, and there'll be less than and less than. It might be less than or equal. Um, we'll have to wait and see in that. Uh, and then you just want to see how far left to the left you can go. So right now I'm at one. See if you can if you look at this number right here, one. Right, zero right here. Right, so I just want to see how far left I can go, and and I'm gonna keep going negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and it looks like I can go as far as negative four right there. And you see that dot right there? Okay, if you see a dot or a line, that means that that's where the graph ends, and it actually ends at that spot. So so it's gonna end at negative four, and it's gonna count negative four. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't want to save it. So it's going to count negative 4, so we're going to go and write, and it's going to be underneath, underlined with a negative 4, because that's going to involve negative 4. Right, so that's kind of how you look at it. Now to the right of it, again, we're going to start over, and then we're going to see how far right we can go. So right now, I'm at negative 4. Oops. Right, so not right now, I'm, I'm closing in on negative 4, negative 3. You can see those numbers. Negative 2, negative 1. So looking at those numbers. Negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three. It looks like I'm gonna go as far as three only. You see that? As far if I go past three, there's no more. So, and you can see that it's a there's a dot and and three, so that means that it's only gonna go as far as three and to make include. So since it includes three, I'm gonna go ahead and underline it and put three. For the ranges, we're going to be talking about the y values, and it's going to be less than and less than. Okay, and again, we're going to go ahead and, and see how far. So for the range, we're going to start with how far down. So if I move this up, you can see that I see my whole graph, and I and I want to see how far down I can I go. So again, right now I'm looking at the y. So you can see that I'm at three, two, one, and I'm going to keep going down. 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, and I can still see the graph, so that means that it's still it's still there, right? That means that my uh, my range is um, hasn't, um, I haven't reached the bottom of my range yet, so negative 3, negative 4, and you can see it's going to go as far down as negative 5, right? I'm looking right here, neg negative 5, okay? So, and it does actually touch the negative 5, you can see if I get very close to negative 5, you can see that there's still a line there. So that means that's going to be underlined with negative 5. That's the very bottom of it. Okay, and then let's see how far it goes up. So I'm looking at these middle numbers again, right? All of these numbers, right? So I'm at negative 5, and I can still see it. So negative 4, still see it. Negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And it's almost done. You can see it only a little bit. And then if I go all the way to 5, you can see that there's no more, there's no more graph. There's no more picture, right? And it actually does stop at five right there because you see that right before I get to five, you can see a line over here. You can see a, a dot right here, okay? So that means that it does stop at five. And then because it stops at five, I'm going to put a little underline. All right, <clears throat> that's your domain and range. So again, domain and range. Domain just means that we're going to look on, look as far as left and right. So that means we're going to be looking at the x's. And I like to start with the, doing both the uh, less than and less than. So we're looking at the um, part B. Okay. So if we if we look at how far left it can go, and you can see that the arrow is going to keep pointing uh, up and to the left, which means that it's going to keep going. So in reality, it's going to keep doing this. It's going to keep going and going and going. And it's going to keep going in that direction. So I can always, um, I, I can't always cover it. So it's going to have to keep going and going and going all the way to the left, which is where negative infinity it is. So my domain starts at negative infinity. And because I can't ever reach the end, I can't, I can't ever reach negative infinity, I'm not going to put an underline. Okay. 
and same thing for the for the, the positive side of it okay how far right can I go and you can see that arrow it's gonna keep going up and to the right which means that I'm gonna keep going to the right as well I can't ever cover it up which means it's gonna keep going all the way to the, the right which is where positive infinity is okay range is gonna involve the y again I like to start with less than and less than and range is you know what's the what's the lowest what's the lowest part of the function what's the lowest I can go you can see I'm looking down through the y again and then why am I zero I'm a negative one negative two negative negative three negative four negative five and look negative six right here and you can see that I am slowly covering up negative six right here negative six that's about it negative six right here and that's about as far as I can go so it's gonna be negative six and you can see that there is a line that a part of a line right there which means that I am gonna be underlining it okay. and how high does this graph go you see that there's arrows so that means it's gonna go higher and higher and even though I'm covering up it's gonna keep going all the way up to infinity so that's gonna go to infinity Oop, I'm not sure why it's not doing that. So it's going to go all the way to infinity. All right? And because it's infinity, you can't really get there. That's about us. Uh, I can't um, actually get to there, which means I don't underline. So if you're going to underline infinity, you don't, because you can't get to infinity, so don't underline. All right, that's it.